Following an extraordinary meeting by the Council of Governors, the Council announced that they will be instituting disciplinary action against doctors who are on strike for disregarding court orders. On health workers who have absconded duty, as we await the court to make a determination on this matter tomorrow, 17th April 2024, county governments will have no choice but to institute disciplinary action against them according to to the Employment Act, where if you abscond <coughs> duty for more than 21 days, the county governments and the national governments are given the responsibility to take action. COG Chair Ann Waiguru also warned that if the state agrees to implement the 2017 Collective Bargaining Agreement, then it will have a ripple effect on civil servants' pay, adding that counties will also need more budgetary allocations. In the event that the national government agrees to the implementation of the CBA, that this would have a ripple effect on all civil servants' basic pay and will therefore require additional allocation of resources to county governments to be able to carry out this task. County government's position is that we should be given 450 billion shillings as part of the Division of Revenue. You know that the national government has only allocated according to what we have seen in the BPS 391. She further called out senior medical doctors who are paid a double amount compared to their colleagues in the private sector for participating in the industrial action. Senior medical doctors are paid about 103% higher than the amount that is paid to non-health workers in the public service and to other doctors in the private sector. Currently, a county senior medical officer, for example, is paid about 479000 So the range that you will find them earning will be 479 for the senior and below will be a total of about 420,000 shillings per month. Concerning the 890 doctors released for postgraduate training. To this effect, county governments will undertake the costing of doctors on postgraduate studies for purposes of allocation of resources for recruitment to fill the gaps and offer services during this training period. Further, we have appealed for the policy to be amended and for the national government to take the burden of those who are under training so that the county governments can be able to replace those who are in training to fill the gaps for service delivery. The council reiterated that since devolution, the health sector has improved not only in delivery, but in the hiring of doctors and nurses, which has more than doubled more than 10 years later. Thank you so much, colleagues. Harriet Chimea, K24.